Hello everyone, my name is Krillis Rex, and today we're back here playing Hearts of Iron 4. It has been a while since I last uploaded and recorded, so it's going to be a little bit of a reminder for me, so sorry if things are bad. But today we are going to do an achievement for the nation of Belgium that only surprisingly 3% of players have, even though it's really easy. It is called Forge Victory, and it is as plain as Belgium, have 50 or more factories. Uh, which is a very easy achievement that no one does because everyone's scared. It's like, oh, Belgium's going to get invaded right away. But I'll be showing you how that's false, so let's get into it right now. Alrighty, and here we are in the game. So, make sure you have achievements on and historical on. I should have said that earlier. You need the historical on for this to work. Well, you can do it either way, but that's the easiest. Uh, first things first, select all of your troops and convert them onto the Division, de or division Colonial. I'll tell you why in one moment. And then just put them all... Uh, in an order like this, it doesn't really matter. Just have them all in Belgium. Uh, for your political focuses, go political effort first. Research your research. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I would definitely get electric, uh, the electronic, and all the production line. Actually, we do need one thing: research artillery as well with one of your research slots. Uh, you can everything else is optional what you get, but you need the artillery as Belgium does not start out with RT artillery. Uh, we're just going to throw some civilian factories down the spots. We don't have them. Uh, we can delete our interwar fighters since it is useless to us currently. And as this is all we can produce, we should have enough. Uh, you can put one on trains. Let's see. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Okay. So it's like this. Um, yep. And one on trains. Yep. All right. This is the production line, how you want to have it set up. Again, it doesn't really matter for the civilian trains or not. Personally, I just like to make them, since every game I do. And then, as you can see, we only have one general. This is going to be our main general right here. We're going to just promote a random guy to field marshal later, once we have enough political points. And I will get back to you after the first focus finishes. And our first focus just finished, political effort. So, with that political power we just gained, we are going to be getting a fascist demagogue. And we will start flipping to fascism slowly. Uh, there is one important thing though, we will not be joining Germany as that will trigger France and Britain potentially guarantee the Netherlands and Belgium or the Netherlands and Luxembourg which we need for this. I am also as we have enough guns we are going to start exercising these guys indefinitely until we get enough XP to uh, change the division to infantry to uh, um, a 7-2 format which although I know it's not the greatest in the new No Step Back DLC. It will get the job done very easily, and you'll easily push through Netherlands with basically no losses, as Netherlands just have very bad infantry. Uh, next uh, focus, we are going to go down industrial effort, and from industrial effort, we will finish all the armament efforts. And while you're doing this, just keep building civilian factories in Walloon and anywhere else they unlock. And I'd, after the cannons are finished researching, actually I'll be back to you when the cannons finish researching. And now we are back. The cannon just finished, or the artillery just finished researching, which is great. Um, so for next research, like I said, we're going to go down armament effort. And then, ba -ba -da -bum, here is the artillery pieces, as we'll be making seven twos. We have enough trains now to stop producing them, and we're going to start mass producing the towed artillery cannons. And we will also be getting rid of one of the support equipment, as it's not that important currently yet, I should say. Uh, we're definitely get the, gonna get the inner war artillery while we wait, and then we can go down dispersed industry or construction. Again, doesn't really matter. I'd recommend dispersed industry as we don't have too many building slots currently. Um, so yeah, let's get that down, and then I'm gonna pick a military advisor. We will be getting where's my um? It doesn't really matter. We're gonna get beginning the infantry expert and the army offense expert. I'm just gonna start off army offense, and I will be actually getting adaptable as that is a great trait. For anyone, and we're just gonna set these guys up on the border of the Netherlands. Why not? And get planning bonus, and keep uh, uh, exercising your troops until um. I'll come back to you when you have to stop researching it, or you, you'll get the 25 army XP, then you can stop, and you'll get passive. So, I'll be back to you shortly. Keep going down the armament effort progress right here, and I am back. Armament Effort 3 just finished with this. Uh, actually, make sure you go to Partial Mobilization. And we also need to open up Political Discourse. And you can discredit the government, which will get us to 44 popularity. 
So while this is going on, I recommend doing wool and construction effort as it gives more civilian factories. And I've kept uh, just constructing civilians here in Walloon because it does not matter. Um, but yeah, it keeps constructing everything. And you can finally stop exercising your army at this point too once it reaches 30 or higher. And we will really be making these into... Or, or not set 44, 7 twos. Um, you can stop at 20 actually. But I just like to get extra because why not? And they will stop exercising. And we can convert them to it. As you can see, we will not have enough towed artillery for them all. But that does not matter. We will be lessening everything, kind of. And we will be putting one more back on support equipment. And then every other military factory we get will go to towed artillery. But we should have enough for a while now. And once one more of these... I don't know. We keep constructing. Uh, we will slowly get more and more guns as we go on. And this should be good. And once these three are done constructing right here, two are done constructing, we will just construct the mills for the rest of it. And I will come back once we are ready to flip to fascism. And also at this point, make sure to start saving political power as we will need to justify some more goals. And we now have over 50 support for Rex in the Lien de That is the faction name. So we can hold that national referendum. People want it, boom, and we get this cool new flag, and Leon de Grail is leading us. Um, and we will start just finding a war goal against the Netherlands and Luxembourg at the same time. Awesome there. And this is what my focus tree looks like so far. After construction effort three, I will be going to get dum -ba -da -bum. we will go get naval effort. And then after naval effort, we will go down the nationalism focus. Because after naval effort, you can kind of be done with the focus tree if you're just playing for the achievement. But if you're playing for a run with Belgium to like, I don't know, take over the world or something, definitely go down nationalism focus. And yeah. Uh, and also you should be training up seven more units and your construction queue should look like this. Um, you should be building one more military factory and then the rest civs and just keep building civs the rest of the game and infrastructure. Keep it high and nice. And just deploy all the fresh units down and put them on the border. And we will start exercising them up to uh, the max they can go so they can blitz creep through and win. And I'll be back to you once the justification on the Netherlands finishes. Alrighty, and we just got our justification ready for the Netherlands. So in my last run I did this, Czechoslovakia and Denmark was guaranteeing the Netherlands. But it is not the case this time. Even if they are... Uh, guaranteeing the independence still invade as what are they going to do to you they can't do anything to you i mean the um denmark may naval or not naval but they may combo raid you but does not matter we're just going to declare war right now and put our troops on full assault as we put up our air force just for the little buff and they should absolutely just it's going to be a quick war and you won't lose too much which is always nice as you can see, it's just like insta breaks. And you will also get a free Dutch East Indies. Keep pushing them up. No matter what, just don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. And boom, they're already gone. So you can just take their land like this. Pass it around a little bit, take all states, and satellite. And boom, that part is done right there. And the justification... Okay, well they are now guaranteed by the United Kingdom, but it still does not matter. As you can see, we have 42 factories. Um, This is all... You just have to... Uh, do, do... I'll be... Put up an order like that on that border. And then... Once you're out also, try... Yep, this will, these will give you free troops as well. I did not expect the UK to guarantee them, but it is fine. It won't stop anything. I would recommend just doing this, though. We're going to take two of you and put you along the border here. And you will get this guy. Well, all of you will be changed back into you. And we'll be given an extra infantry with the support artillery. Yeah. These will be our main defense. 
And we're just going to leave this on there like that. And you know what? We're going to go... No, we're going to wait. And then we're going to get limited conscription. So once you have enough political power, get limited conscription. I'll be back to you once this war goal is done. Alrighty, our justification just finished. We're going to declare war now. We're going to instantly send about three of these guys to the border. And now that they're gone, that is all good. The cowardly Luxembourgish nation here capitulated. So we'll do this right here. And now, we probably still won't have enough. And now it'll just be a task of, hey, let's hold the border. <laughs> just always super fun, as you can tell. We're going to just keep the bad grand battle plan. Go military youth, get extra conscription. We're going to join the German faction. And then call them to arms. And they will join. Awesome. Now Germany will join. Paris has not has decided not to join yet, actually. Which is a little surprising. We will be taking in. We just have to make sure all of our ports are somewhat defended. So. As all this is now core territory, we just got a lot of factories. And let's see. We just got 60 factories, actually. So the challenge is completed, as you only need 50. So as soon as you conquer all the territory of Luxembourg, uh, Walloon, Vlanderen, Brabant, Holland, and Friesland, you will have enough factories. At this stage in 1938, you are 10 over. And at this point, you can easily blitzkrieg through the France and take them down. But it doesn't really matter as you finish the challenge. So I hope this helped. It's really easy. Don't worry about any other country other than these three. And yeah, hope you all have a great rest of your day and see you in the next video. Peace.